Hey man, say man, what a way to start the day. You know what I'm saying? It's TC, y'all see the title, y'all see the thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? Welcome back to another video with me now. We're about to be reacting to this video. You know what I'm saying? Ain't y'all tired of seeing these modern women cheating? Hey, just be lucky. Just be happy that it's not you getting cheated on. You know what I'm saying? You can just sit back and enjoy the video. It's cheat day, so we got the Ben and Jerry's on deck. We got the Ben and Jerry's on deck. So I say goodbye to the old me. Already gone. Oh. Hey, I just did an hour on the stairmaster, man. I deserve this motherfucker. I've been doing an hour on the stairmaster like every day. Every day, every day. On my damn boat. All right, man, we're finna get into this. I don't want to waste too much of y'all time or nothing, you know what I'm saying? But hope y'all doing good, man, because. So I say goodbye. Hey, this ice cream, first of all, Y'all probably can't even see that. Look, look, look. That's that Ben and Jerry's. So I say goodbye to the old me. When I get my mic coming, what's going on, bitch ass niggas? You feel me? All right, we're going to get into the bit, man. I don't want to waste too much more. <laughs> <sighs> All right, let's get right. Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Ricky reached out to me because he felt like this girl named Gloria was scamming him out of his money. He explained to me that he sent Gloria a lot of money that he don't want to disclose on camera, and after he sent that money, she blocked him on everything. I sent her money through Cash App, PayPal, Venmo. She I, she blocked my social media accounts from reaching her. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Snap, so as soon as you sent the, as soon as you sent the money, she, you just lost all communication with her. Uh, everything fell apart. Man, I saw the pictures of that bitch, man. She was fucking hot, but I never seen her in fucking person, man. It's some fucking bullshit. She turned out to be a fraud and everything. And God damn, man, we were on the phone, we were chatting and everything. And as soon as I, all the, as soon as I finished my last drop of money, she cut me off, man. She blocked me. After time passing by and Ricky sitting there actually thinking about what took place, it sent him in a depression. These niggas be dumb as shit. Who the hell spends money on a girl they never met? Niggas be lonely, I guess. Which led him to do his own digging. In doing so, he found out that Gloria had a boyfriend of her own, which led him to believe that this whole entire time, him and his girlfriend were scamming him out of his money. So he ended up finding out Gloria's boyfriend information and ended up reaching out. He actually had no knowledge of this at all. So Ricky, this is who you were talking to. This is Josh, he's behind you. What's up, bro? So I met that bitch at the strip club, dude. Hey, hey Ricky, man. Hey, Ricky, be respectful, look, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you gotta be respectful, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you speak, talk to him, that's his girl, bro. Be respectful, though. Oh, okay, okay, yes. Yes, sir. I mean, where, where do you meet her, bro? I met that girl at the strip club, man. She, I mean, I don't know who she is, what her name is. This shit gotta be fake, bro. How the fuck you go up? <laughs> a nigga call your girl a bitch the first time you meet him. And you didn't just fire off on a nigga. You got this big nigga in the back. Well, he's supposed to be playing security. This the nigga supposed to be holding me back from firing off of your jaw because you caught my girl a bitch. But I mean, I met her at the strip club, but she's a fraud. She's blocked her Facebook, Twitter, Instagram accounts and everything, man. I talked to Josh through text messages and he seemed like a really pretty cool guy. Yeah, this Ricky dude, he, he reached out to me, telling me everything about my girl. And I was like, I ain't really paid no mind, bro. Like, at this point, who's wrong? Because if, if I was in the situation, I think the boyfriend wrong. Because if I know my girl scamming a nigga, one, I'm gonna ask her about the shit. Two, I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, are you scamming niggas? If you ain't doing that shit to pay our bills, you better be cutting me some of that that bread. But you wouldn't catch me going to try to catch my girl cheating with a nigga who, who's scamming. Talking about all oh, my girl scamming my money, this and that, all that kind of stuff. I ain't, I ain't really listen to him at first, but he just kept hitting my line, hitting my line, hitting my line. So I like, I really, let me look into this. And I just sent her money through Cash Up, PayPal, and Venmo. 
man, she's a fraud, man. You waste your time, bro. Because I am bankrupt. I am broke. I gave all that all my fucking money, man. And she took all of it. She hung me dry. I'm homeless. I have no job. I have no fucking car or nothing. Fucking bitch. Stupid little park trash little fucking car. You ain't never called or talked to on the phone, heard her voice, none of that. You know what I'm saying? And you study sending her money? Come on, bro. That's your answer right there. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Straight up, man. The whole ordeal was kind of weird to me. Oh, I say goodbye to the... I'm back, though. So when he uh, brought up the strip club, y'all kind of looked at each other. Why? Why? It's more of a I told you so thing, but it's not my place to say that. But like I said, I don't see nobody working in a strip club that ain't serving drinks, shaking ass, or uh, you recruit. Somebody, something got to be explained. The money popping up randomly. Bro been bringing it to me for a minute. No answers. Yeah. Answers. Very true, very true. I mean, that's that's where it is where I met her. I met her in the strip club. Oh, you met her in the strip club too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she was a bottle girl out there. I went, I went out there with some of my homeboys, and we were out there having a good time, and she was one coming to our table and shit, and I got a number from there, and we started talking, and we really been going strong for the past couple of years. Okay, so after receiving all the information that Ricky basically just told you, do you feel like y'all relationship revolves around money? Absolutely. Like yeah, she, like she, she pop, she popping up with random, random clothes, all this kind of stuff, random shoes. Always asking me for this and that. Like it, it's really starting to make sense now. Like, really, like I'm, like I said, bro. I'm at, I'm in the strip club, bro. She was a bottle girl out there. Me and my homeboy went out for some fun. She giving us our drinks all night, all night. Really been going strong for like two years. Like really been trying to take care of this girl, bro. I really dropped everyone for her, everything. Like damn, bro. Maybe I should shit. So today we had our decoy Gabriel actually reach out to her through the Instagram a while ago. So they started talking and communicating and today she's supposed to meet him across the street at the restaurant. Oh. She don't know that Gabriel's supposedly supposed to stay over here, but his objective is to talk to her and get her to come over. Okay. Okay, so we'll be watching everything upstairs. What time did she tell you she was coming? Okay, so yeah, she should be here in about 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and go upstairs. Hit that like button, y'all rock with me. Let's get everything situated and hopefully you get your answers, bro. Yeah, what's good, bro? Hey, what's up, man? What's I always good? watch your channel, what's bro. Up? What's uh, up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, what's man? Nice to meet you, man. Oh, hey, can, can I get a picture, bro? Nah, what's up? Yeah, for sure, bro. Go ahead. Take this for me, bro. I got you. This shit be so cow. Make it more believable. Like, nigga, every time you go to the airport, nigga, stop your ass for a picture. Cow. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. We do not want to see niggas. Winning $750. Click the link in my bio. I'm doing whatever I want to see what she's up to. Okay. That's, that's really it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get you down there. Um, you already mic'd up. So basically everything's smooth. You already know what to do. I talked to Jack about it. I've never seen this girl before, but I want to see her try to get as much money as I can back as possible. Man, if you don't mind me asking, like, how much you sending her? Man, I get a check every month. I give her the whole check. How much is the check? I don't want to share that information. Right, that's, that's, good, yeah. that's cool, bro. I understand. I understand. All right, so Josh, yeah, we can just go ahead and uh, go down to the command center and we can watch everything that's going on. All right, baby. We tried setting up a command center. Nigga said he sent her the whole check, but he got on a fucking. Nigga got on a fucking South Pole. Get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> for today's test but because of the area we were only limited to listening through the mics cameras were set up in the house just in case gabriel was able to get her to come over and this loyalty test is officially about to begin yo jack man what's up man what's good bro Hey, bro, I know I met you for the first time yesterday, bro, but whenever I see your videos, bro, I be thinking that cash out shit fake. I swear to God, <laughs> oh, I really yeah, do. <laughs> Come on, bro. what I just tell y'all? You meet a nigga at the airport for the first time, now y'all on FaceTime? So, Beam, I'm doing all these videos, I'm like, bro, I'm clicking, I'm, I'm playing the games and shit, I'm like, bro, this shit gotta be fake, my nigga. So, boom, I stopped and I went to sleep. I wake up the next morning, Come <laughs> 50 in my account, nigga. Man, they don't believe me. Look. I told you, bro, all you gotta do is be paid. There you go. Yup. 
Yep. Yes, sir. All you gotta do is be All right, so like, let's let's get it. Just everything. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then I had went through like a bad breakup, a bad friendship. So like I was like literally like a so I said that getaway. Back. Like I needed to get away for a mental, just everything recharge. And I went and I don't know. I was I wasn't scared. Like I'm not scared. I've been on my. I just did my third um, solo trip. Actually, I did a tri trip. But going back to Dubai. Um, when I went, I did research on it. I did um, hire a driver and I did like a little tour my first day so I could kind of get a feel of where yeah. everything was, just the idea. Yeah. I did the desert safari. I went and did the. Oh, you did the whole. I did the you whole. did the whole thing. damn thing. I was okay. Like, I'm, gonna do if I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do everything. So. And you did, did all of that solo. I did all of this solo. Wow, yeah. that's brave. I, I, I admire that. That's awesome. Yeah, my third was just a tri city. I went to Albuquerque, New Mexico for one day. I did a hot air balloon ride, which is the picture you like. Yeah. And then I flew to Washington, D.C. because I had never been to Washington. Not through there. Wow, you've been all over the place. Yeah. Okay. So I like, you know, I like nice mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm, And that's why all this is very, you know, fitting because I do like nice things and I do like, you know, I'm not just like that. Yeah. I like right. nice things. I mean, you know, I am single and it's crazy because I am really actually single. Um, single, single or? I'm, 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 I'm single, single. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm mm -hmm. single. You know when a girl says she's single, she is a goddamn lie, bro. <laughs> okay, you, you started with that. I'm single as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm single yeah, as fuck. I'm single. I ain't yeah. nobody. Um, what you want to do? I got some 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 ideas of what we could do. If you're down for it. Down. down. Super attractive and. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Well, my place is actually right there. If you want oh, to really? take it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You wanna wanna go I check would. it out with me? I would. All right. Let's get out of here. I mean, she she that easy. Like y'all niggas look like. What, I don't even see no food on the table. What are y'all doing? What are y'all eating? What is, what's going on? Like you that easy? My apartment's right there. I, I would. I would. Damn, you drop your drawers at the table there. Look what that money make up, bitch, Joe. You don't live far, so maybe we can hang out. At some point, we holding hands. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Lo agreed to come over to our decoy's house, and she already told our decoy that she was single when she clearly has a boyfriend. We were gonna let this test go on, but since we are all the way on the fourth floor of this townhouse, we don't have a good connection to hear exactly what's going on, and we also don't want to risk the decoy accidentally bringing her up, exposing our position. Dude, there's another level up there. Okay. I just didn't want you to walk through all those stairs. You know what? Though we can take the elevator. I yeah, come on. Yo, visual is still bad. It's cutting in and out. It's very choppy. What are we doing? Mic signals from every camera are all bad. Maybe there's a satellite in the area that's messing with everything, but... This nigga's sick. <laughs> if we can go in now, we can because she didn't already show us that she failed. Yeah. And I've been here please. about a year, and I like it. I like it so far, so... Oh, wow. Oh, I've never the, been in a, in a house. Give you the grand tour. <laughs> Yeah, see, I told y'all, thank you very much. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, this is so wild. This is, I love this is beautiful. Like, yeah. This is really nice. Yeah, I like it here. It's real quiet. I see that. You should come be here with me. Oh, they holding on the motherfucking weights. He holding on the weights. He trying to get a taste. Yeah. yeah she getting this is very oh. nice. I, I feel like I can vibe here it seems like it will be very tranquil this is all you this is it looks like something you should be in oh really yeah something i should be in with you right yeah of course okay. of course i don't want you to be in it with somebody else <laughs> <laughs> i ain't gonna lie man this sense is crazy bro Yo, i feel bad for dude crazy. who got all his money took his whole check he said he was homeless <laughs> this and that <laughs> women out here man it's crazy. According to Josh, he's seen enough to actually go in and confront her. We were only using the restaurant as phase one of this loyalty test, and she completely failed, denying any existence when it comes to her boyfriend. No, bro, I've I done seen enough, bro. Like, she, she already set the days and trips and shit, bro. Like, let's just go, bro. Uh, nah, I ain't saying she'll go, nigga. Uh, 
Real talk. Look what that money making bitch do. This test is all over the place, man. You go from she took all bro money, then he came in just to explain it to him. Now he on the test, bro. What sense does make? As for Ricky, well, let's just see how she reacts to seeing him for the first time in person after allegedly taking advantage of him oh. and using him for his money. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. That's what I like to hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like the way you roll. Okay, you roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You fat little fucking bitch. Wait till I get my goddamn fucking hands on you. Let's help Palestine out right now. They need food. They need <laughs> water. They need medical supplies. No other country is helping them out. All right, man. Mm -hmm. You fucking took all my fucking money, you Trump board drug. Hey, bro. You lying for the bitch? Hey, bro, man, you better go, man. Chill out. You better go, man. You better go, man. You better go, man. You better go, man. Hey, hey. Fat ass bitch. Stinking bitch. You ain't no skin. You a fat ass bitch. Yeah, you feel dumb, don't you? You a fat ass little f***. You feel dumb, don't you? Go on. You make me homeless. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who is this? I knew it. Bro, you was right, bro. Bro, we came down the stairs. That boy really, I ain't gonna lie, that boy was saying everything in the book. He was just blurting out everything. And dude, who good girl it was, he wasn't even really defending, no one even saying nothing to that nigga. Like, hey, you calling my girl this, calling her that, and you, you, I ain't gonna lie, she took your money, but hold that down, bro. You got some answers for me? Huh? Hey, what's with your bro? Talk you don't know? Oh, no, I know, all of a sudden you don't know. I don't even know who the fuck that is. So Ricky basically reached out to me saying that he was messing with you through text messages. He never seen you in real life, and he sent you a lot of money, and you ended up ghosting him on everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I know yeah. you. I don't know you. I'm gonna find you. I, I, I bet you. you I bet nice. you feel dumb now. Yeah. What would you kids be doing though? Hmm? What am I doing? What do you mean? What you doing? You out here entertaining? Them? You was just on a whole date. I know all day. You got sending you money. What you mean, bro? Why? Why, why are we doing this? What? Hmm? Why, why don't you answer that for me? So did, did you not accept any money from him? This shit don't seem believable. Like, if they paid these niggas, I would get a refund ASAP. I wouldn't even upload this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. I don't know. Shit don't seem believable. I don't know. At all. I don't know. You don't. Shut the f up. You, you, you shut the f up. You shut the f up. You shut the f up. Like, you call lying. Lying how? Bro, <laughs> this shit's so count, I think, that bro. Talked about all the money being sent, all that kind of shit. I'm, I'm ready. All right, man, we're gonna wrap this up here because this shit seemed a little bit count to me. But um, y'all can go watch this. The rest of this video, the rest of this two minutes at Jack TV. Uh, he uploaded a lot of good content. This video don't seem as believable to me though. So I'm going to go ahead and end this right here. We already seen, you know what I'm saying, what transpired. You know what I'm saying? And we already know you can't trust these women at the end of the day. So let them do what they want to do. Set them free and live your life. And I promise you, you're going to have a more fulfilled life when you do set them free. But I want to know what y'all think about this video, man. Hit them comments. Let me know what y'all think about this video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell. So you know when my next video drop. If you had that notification bell clicked on already, you'll know when this video dropped exactly. But you probably didn't get the notification because you're, you're not clicked on it. So go ahead and do that. And I'm going to see y'all next time, man. We're going to be going on TC outro.